What's up everybody? This is Mike with your title technique of the week and this week we are talking about slips. Slips are a defensive form of head movement that we use to typically dodge straight punches. Um, what we're trying to do is get our head off the center line so that we get out of trouble and can usually deliver a counter punch off of that. So to start, we're going to start our good stance, knees bent, heels up, elbows in, chin tucked, hands high right here. And what I want to do is I want to get my head off of this center line. Now, to imagine that center line, you can see I'm on this ladder right here. I want you to imagine a straight line coming right down my center right here. Usually, this is the line that most straight punches will come, come towards me on. So, with that in mind, I want to get my head off that center line. Move my head so that those punches miss. And to do that, I'm going to slip the punches. So... For the first kind of slip, I'm going to call it a slip to the lead side. So towards, I'm right hand, so that'll be my left hand since my left hand is my lead hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my rear shoulder and I'm going to put it over my, my lead knee and you'll see how that moves my head off that center line. Let a straight punch fly right by and I'm out of trouble. Also loads up my lead hand for counter shots, counter uppercuts, whole bunch of stuff. I can pivot out if I want to, gets me out of trouble. Similar on the rear side, um, but this time I'm going to take my lead shoulder and put it in front of my rear knee. The uh, thing to be careful of on this one is you don't want to pull back. You want to make sure the head is moving side to side. So I'm going to turn that shoulder. Boom. I'm right here. Knees are bent. Uh, hands are up. All right, everybody. I'm going to show you what these slips look like versus an opponent rather than the heavy bag since they're a defensive move. Uh, here to help me out is my lovely wife, M.E.M. She's going to play the part of my opponent here, and she's going to throw some straight punches at my face, and I am going to slip out of the way to show you how this looks. So, M throws the cross at me. Boom, I'm here. My rear shoulder's over my lead knee. My head's off that center line, which is where that glove is right now, and I'm in a good position to throw some counter shots with that lead hand. Similarly, if I'm slipping the rear side, I'm going to slip M's jab, Boom, my head's off the center line, my lead shoulder's in front of my rear knee, my knees are still bent, and I'm in a good position to counter from where I am there. What we want to avoid on that rear slip especially is slipping backwards, right here. Because one, you can see that punch is still going to hit me if I'm leaning back like this. And two, if I try to counter and throw a punch back at M, I have to beat her glove back to her face, which is a lot harder to do if I'm further away. So just to show you some of those slips in action, let's go jab cross. Again. Just like so. Again, I'm turning my hips, turning my shoulders, moving my head off that center line. So a couple things to be careful of on your slips is that sometimes we'll have the tendency to lean to one side or the other pretty dramatically. If you can, you want to stay more centered over your base here and keep everything in tight. Um, you can get away with the leans a little bit more in boxing, but in kickboxing, that's a really good way to eat a head kick if I'm leaning over with my head extended out here. Um, that is not fun, speaking from experience. Uh, other thing to be conscious of, especially on your rear slip, is I want my head to moving side to side instead of forward or back. So boom, my head's over here to the side instead of pulling back here. If I pull back, my head stays on that center line and I can still get hit with that straight punch and I'm not in a great position to counter because I'm further away from my opponent. So I'm gonna head off the center line of the rear so I can come back straight and fire that counter shot. All right guys, those are some slips. Try incorporating them into your combos. Uh, show us what you got, tag me, tag Title Maplewood. Leave any questions you have down in the comments and I'll see you next time.